They know nothing else than what they're experiencing. So they are trapped, in effect, in a home where there's violence. What is happening is intolerable. And the question is, how can they find some kind of lifeline out of that? They don't even look for it because they don't know that such a thing exists. threw me down on a bed, you know, with his hands around my neck. Um, he threatened me, he said, or I'll, I'll, I'll kill the kids. The violence has to stop. But I worked with one little boy who was um, ashamed that he froze every time it happened. Really ashamed. But he said, I can feel my body just freezing, it can't move. angry and he hurt my son in front of me um, and it was that point I realised that I had to leave. So we visit the children in their own home and we give them a chance to talk about what's happened to them. We do some safety planning with them so they don't know what to do if another incident should happen and that gives them some sense of control in the situation that the children really needed someone to talk to who wasn't their mother and afterwards they were always like like somebody taking a big load off them. The only way I can describe it is we felt like we'd been airlifted to safety the fact that these people were so warm and supportive. They can remove themselves from the sense of responsibility for what's happening and be a child and then they've got some hope of growing up without that, that shadow in their own mind and their own behaviour. When you try your best but you don't succeed When you get what you want but not what you need When you feel so tired but you can't sleep Stuck in me Goes to me. 